people were just freaking out, man. When did you change the lyric? Do you still recall? You said, I want your soul. And then when did you came up with, well, the, with the lyric that it is now? Um, it was probably, a, I want to say like a couple months, you know, that I had the I want your soul. I mean, long enough to record a demo of it, that's for sure. Um, and just, you know, after I heard the demo, I was just like, this is the worst. <laughs> like, I have to change this, you know. Like, demos are a great way for me to, like, kind of analyze what's going on because, like, once I hear it on tape, it's kind of like I'll, you know, I'll, anything that I think totally sucks, I'll just, it'll just, it won't leave my head until yeah. I get something that replaces it that I feel is better. So, I, uh, I don't really know where the, uh, I remember I went to like a, a Himza show. Himza opened um, the dark Blackest of the Black tour. And I was watching Himza, and they had like one line in their chorus that just ended with O. You know, I forget what it was, but I was sitting there listening to it. It was kind of like a memorable thing. And I was just like, just whatever the last word was, it just ended with O. And I was like, maybe I'll do something with O, you know, like when I go start fucking around with the chorus, you know? Like, it was really simple, you know? Like, and then that just kind of triggered that, and then I just changed the whole thing within about a week, probably. Yeah. And then Halo, and, you know, the, the, the con once I came up with the Halo thing, the concept of it kind of came about, you know, at the time, it was, you know, I guess, 05, probably 2005, and, uh, you know, just we were, right in the middle of the war. There was like a lot of stuff going on in the news about um, like the Christian right was really gaining a lot of power in the states. And uh, you know, they were trying to introduce all, you know, as they, as they, as you know, more and more things within the Bush administration started, you know, happening for them, they started getting more and more bold with the things they wanted to introduce. Like they were trying to introduce this thing called intelligent design yeah. into schools in America, which was basically saying that, like, you know, God is responsible for everything and, you know, kind of separate, you know, kind of erasing the line between traditional education and religion, you know, and making it part of education. And uh, there was, it was a big deal, you know, and there was a lot of people on the, on both sides kind of fighting for or against it. And, you know, that that's just kind of where the, you know, my anger with the, uh, the Christian, you know, right and, you know, the religious structure that was kind of slowly taking over America and it was like kind of a, you know, going against all of that, you know, and, uh, and so that's where, you know, not so much like people who are Christians, but like the power structure of, of Christianity in America. Do, do you think it has waned a bit the, now with... Obama in office, or is it just, well, within 10 years there? It, I mean, it waned a little bit. It's still there, you know. I mean, it's not going away, but, you know, they probably have uh, less leverage now. And, and it just depends on the success now of this government, maybe. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Thank <laughs> you.